What's going on guys? Your boy King Solo, man. I'm here to bring the information. A lot of people are posting on Twitter, posting YouTube videos. Well, a lot of information straight from the Destiny 2 um, reveal event. Just telling a lot about you know, the new classes, how the game is played, what's changed, what hasn't changed, and all these other things. So I'm just going to give you guys all the information that I've personally gotten. So I pretty much wrote it down. So I'm pretty much going to just read it all back. I'm going to try to break down videos in the future do one about weapons one about subclasses one about just the characters and maps and game game modes and all that stuff as we get more information so just stay tuned for that but anyway i'm gonna start off with um some weapon some weapon details first um pretty much we already know we got the new weapon system pretty much we get to um well pretty much this is the weapon system sniper shotguns rocket launchers i'm pretty sure the grenade launchers along with the rocket launchers things like that another variance of it they're all heavy ammo now you need heavy ammo to do so they're, they're your third weapon so if you're gonna you, there's no more shotgun spamming and pvp thank goodness gotta get power weapons power ammo for it new thing power ammo is no longer shared with teammates person that gets it gets it just like how it used to be uh actually no was it like that before i don't know it used to i think no actually it never was like that so yep nobody can else can get um power ammo but one person so pretty much they're trying to slow down the snowballing of the game with power weapons. Um, you have two, two primaries now, so two hand cannons, two auto rifles. I don't know if fusion rifles are in there, but LM, uh, not the LMG, but the SMG confirmed in the game. Um, people are playing with SMGs right now. I'll get more on that later. Um, pretty much we see we got grenade launchers in the game the gatling gun machine i guess that's their new take on the machine guns kind of like the gatling gun type um and like a pulse cannon type uh a rocket launcher that we see later in this trailer um let's go see if i got anything else uh pretty much with weapons the grenades fusing grenades no longer one shot um can't one shot them uh melees you it takes three melees to kill people so you can't just double melee and kill people um, I don't know about, you know, comboing, like shotgun, melee, that's probably still a thing. Sniper, melee, probably still a thing. Um, sniper does a one shot in the body, does 100 damage flat pretty much. Um, so that's another good thing. What else do I have yeah. for weapons? Somebody said they play with an exotic submachine gun. And they said it's really, really good. It's not OP, but up close. That thing runs through people, so yes, we finally have a running gun class, a running gun, actual gun besides shotguns. That's what I've been looking for. I, I can't wait to play with that because I'm really a running gunner. If you know me from Call of Duty, you know that's what I'm about, running gun, moving up close, everything like that. So definitely got that so I can have an assault rifle and a submachine gun. I can play both styles depending on how the game feels. So that's a new thing. Um... I already said that pistols are still good so that's one thing we gotta take still um work with uh so that's pretty much about uh the weapons so now i'm about to try to talk about each class um i got some information about each class start with the titan that's how you hear the page flipping but yeah got this written down on paper titans fist of havoc can now be used six times or more and it's no longer a one big aoe slam it is now different uh there there are more frequent slams i'm pretty sure the radius is really small it's probably like five a five person body length it's probably really close so you can use it and just keep going from target to target um you can also shoulder charge in between your slams so you can still shoulder charge with your alt um so that's um for the titan for the hunter golden gun now has six bullets thank you jesus but the duration is it's lower so when you get that you got to really know people are around the corner pull out the golden gun bang, 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 bang. um so it might have an upgrade to where you can shoot it like how k shot it like a uh, last word like and shoot it like that so we'll see um for the warlock don't really have anything about the super i believe i mean it looks just like the sunbringer let's be real you're just raining down um sword shots on the ground so it's pretty much like the sunbringer um but for the Warlocks, they said the Warlocks jump sucks. Some people say they can't jump, so I don't know if that means can't jump as in it's not good or efficient in PvP. But that's what they said. The Warlock has a new ability, and thank you, Bungie. You probably let Activision and Blizzard take control over this one. They're building the Holy Trinity into the game. 
Warlocks now have a healing ability. When you sit there and you hold the ability, it puts down the field. As we saw in the trailer, it's a white circle. And when you stand in that circle, it heals you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now they can make, you know, a higher health pool PvP. If you have a higher health pool PvP, very low or or segmented, um, you know, uh, um, regeneration. So if you go below 50%, you can only regen up to 50%. You can't go past that, but you have to be healed past that to get back to full health. And that will make the, you know, the Warlock's ability strong. Um, so we can have see that in like some crucible rank game modes, trials or whatever. Hopefully they bring in rank playlists. Like that's that's another thing. They need to bring a rank playlist. They need to bring in like a, a arena playlist. I mean the four v four is good, but I think three v three is the sweet spot with the holy trinity. But we'll see how four v four runs. But to definitely utilize the the holy trinity in PvP, the war somebody had to have a healing or a buffing ability, and the warlock now has it, and that's good. That's a good sign. So those are the things about um, each character so far. Let me check. Yep, pretty much. So let's get on to specs. PC specs. PC has 4K, supports up to 4K, uncapped FPS, and you can map your keys. Um, new HUD, um, talking and chat. They got all that stuff, so that's good to, to know that they're really caring about PC. And I mean, Battle.net. Is going to be running PC, so Blizzard, Activision, they have control over the PC, so they're going to be doing their own thing. I'm pretty sure PC is going to be separately balanced from console, since it seems like it's not coming cross-platform. So hopefully they do it like Overwatch, where you know console player they get their balance, PC player get their balance, and we can just run it like that. Um, now let's just get to some other stuff, some miscellaneous stuff that I just have written around. I'm just going to read everything that I have out. Um, old stats are gone, so. Um, intellect, strength, and all that stuff that you know changes your your cooldowns for your super grenades and all that stuff. That stuff is gone, done. Pretty much, they don't want the snowballing in the game anymore, to where you can just keep getting grenades and grenades and grenades or melees, and melees, and melees, power melees, and you know just have your super all the time. They get they got rid of that. Uh, I think that's a good thing. So now we don't have these games where Destiny started to feel like Titanfall. Where we just a race to your first Titan, race to your first super, and then the snowball begins. So they're 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 pulling back on the super power. They're still letting the supers be strong when you get them, but you just don't have that many uses of it, which I think is great. All right. So now another thing about supers: super, when you're in your super mode, and you know how you, we used to get armor and take less damage from bullets. Now they change it to where we take extra damage from elemental damage. So now your primaries with void, with with uh, solar, or whatever, etc., etc. Now does extra damage to people in the supers, and supers do extra damage to people with the supers. So to clear out somebody with a super, you just gotta have either your own super, which was always the case, or you gotta have an elemental weapon. So that's gonna be an easy thing to do. So pretty much. We, we got supers getting kind of nerfed in their how many times they can be used their frequency. They're getting buffed in kind of their power, but they're also getting a disadvantage with people being able to shoot at them. So all in all, I think supers are getting a nerf, but they're still going to be good in PVE. So they they found a way to nerf supers in PVP, but ha still have them great in PVE, which is a good thing. So that's good. Um, armor, agility, and recovery is tied to your armor now. So I guess it's built in. Um, everything is going to be tied in, I guess. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. Maybe every piece has their own, which I think... No, every piece will have their own. Um, armor, ability, and recovery stats. And that will determine how fast you are, how less damage you take, and how fast you recover. So, I think that's good. Now we can actually get towards building your character how you want to. I like to be fast and have a little bit of armor. Let's actually let that be a thing. So you want people to be really tanky? They're just gonna be slow as hell, but they're gonna be real tanky. That's good though. That's good. We got the Holy Trinity. We can go into multiplayer maps. We can have a, a fast DPS hunter, a good recovery warlock with some armor. He's not fast. Titan's not fast, but they're both tanky and they just healing everybody. That'd be good. Healing and shielding everybody. That'd be good. That's a good thing. Um, death timers in PvP are now 10 seconds. Um, so. Yep, pretty much they're going to have a good flow of the game. 
uh, 10 second death timer it's kind of long to me but I mean if it flows with the game it flows with the game it's 4v4 so you kind of want the game to be more concentrated on every kill counting other than just oh we killed him but he spawned right behind us and kills us 5 seconds later um, super orbs and abilities toned down for less snowballing so yeah pretty much another thing that they're doing they're slowing down the snowballing the game from super so that's a good thing um, exotic sub rifle. I already talked about that. A sub machine gun, really good. The fact that they have an exotic in that build at E3, at not E3, but at the Destiny reveal, shows that they they got something up their sleeve. So maybe they got a lot of different weapons, and hopefully there's more than just one exotic sub machine gun. Especially at being a new class, you gotta at least give us like a, a good amount. Um, new revive system. Player gets one revive point per round. Um, so whatever game mode you're playing, um, I guess you get one revive point until you die um and the revive has a cooldown so you cannot spam cooldown to like charles or whatever can't do it um so that's another good thing kills and assists are now in the defeated uh, category so basically just like overwatch where it was uh, kills and assists were elimination so they're, they're they're combining that so you can just basically see what everybody's been doing a lot of people don't get a lot of kills but you get assists you'll still be up there in um, defeats or eliminations. Um, power ammo is not shared. Said that already. Some people confirmed that there's a new game mode that is like Search and Destroy where you plant a bomb, you defend it, and you switch sides. Finally. Great. I'm happy with this. This is great. This is a more competitive map. They're, they're really doing things for competitive gameplay. Pretty much they copy, well not copy and call it, it's Activision, but they're going to Call of Duty, which is the 4v4 game modes, Search and Destroy, they got control. We got our regular game modes or whatever. So this is, this is a good thing. They took the trials, you know, you know, kill one person or kill everybody in the round ends to searching the store where it's like you have an objective which doesn't spawn in the last t a minute, 30 seconds of the game uh, to where it forces people to move around the map. I think that's good. That's what's up. Good job on that. Um, shotguns, rockets, snipers, power weapons now. Talked about that. People saying jumping sucks, so there's going to be more boots on the ground. So I like that. I think the aerial was a little too much in Destiny, a little too much with blinking and gliding and all that other stuff. I think it was a little too much, but they're toning it down. I think that's good. And also pistols are still good. I pretty much repeated a couple of things, but that's pretty much all the information that I got from everybody so far. I'll make more videos if more um, information pops up. But as of right now... These changes are really good in my eyes. I, I'm really, I really can't wait to get my hands on this game and play because there's been a lot of non boots on the ground games coming out lately, and Destiny was one of them. It, it kind of had a good balance, but I think it got a little bit too much with the blink spamming and everything like that. But now that they're toning down snoop, super snowballing, power weapons, shotguns, all this other stuff, and multiplayer to make it more gun on gun, you know interactive besides people sliding with shotguns all the game you know i think it's going to make for a more enjoyable crucible experience for myself so anyway guys it's the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed um leave a comment down below if you guys got any extra uh, details or anything you want to see in the future i'll bring you guys uh, more information when i find out about it most likely it'll be tomorrow because i'm about to head out go do my thing got work in the morning everything like that but i'll be back tomorrow posting more videos people are going to be putting out gameplays tonight fortunately i won't be able to you know partake in uploading any of that but we'll be doing that tomorrow we'll be doing a breakdown of gameplay characters weapons all that good stuff tomorrow so keep an eye out on the channel but anyway guys end of the video it's your boy gasu see you guys later peace